Scouts and fans alike have raved about the talented left-hander the Rebs trot out on Friday nights. But for sophomore Ryan Rollison, he wasn't always an imposing figure on the mound. I was actually a right guard in middle school football. I was a kind of, you know, a short, hefty kid, and uh, I think I hit my growth spurt, you know, late. I was a junior in high school, and I hit my growth spurt. I think I, you know, shot up probably you know, five inches or so, got to like six one, six two, and you know, I'm now probably six two and a half. And so that was really when, you know, I started growing and the velocity came. Once Rollison's velo shot up, it didn't take long for the southpaw to light up the high school circuit. As a top prospect, Rollo was faced with a decision to head to college or begin to make his way through the professional ranks. The first thing I really remember about him, I was out in Asheboro actually playing summer ball, and he called one of the guys, one of my teammates I was with, and uh, I remember sitting there talking about the draft and telling him, dude, you got to come to Ole Miss, and I'm just so happy that he did. You know, have a guy like that on Friday, that just sets the tone for the weekend, and I, I wouldn't want anybody else. You know, in high school, the draft was, you know, um, a possibility for me, but you know, I think me and my family uh, were pro-college. Um, you know, both of my parents went to college, and you know, we valued it a lot. When you play in a program, you know, like ours, that you get the benefit of playing all these other great programs, and and the pressures, and the ups and downs, and the things that you have to go, that you get to mature and and and, and learn these things before you become a professional. While you're still an amateur, um, and then at one day you, you're going to get that opportunity. It's kind of like having the cake and eating it too. The choice to come to Oxford hasn't just helped on the scoreboard. It's given the Rebels a boost in the dugout as well. He's a good energy giver in the dugout. Like, you can always count on him to, you know, get, in the, get, get us fired up or get the crowd fired up. You see a guy that's so talented and, you know, one of the best players in the country. And whenever you see that all he really cares about is the team and, you know, getting to Omaha and just worrying about us, it's really special. This thing will blind you right here. If I'm on the season right now, can you put my uh, Instagram handle right here? What is this thing? That's what I'm all It's great to be around, you know, he's, he makes, makes everyone laugh. He's a clown sometimes. Last night we had a photo shoot for our band. For our band? About the band Retro Restart. Um, it actually started during the Tennessee series. We were talking about it in the dugout on the Sunday, on the Sunday game. And, uh, you know, we kind of got off track from the game a little bit in between innings or whatever, and we started talking, and we were like, you know, we've done, like, some fun things, but, like, how do we take this fun to, like, the next level and stuff like that? And we were like, we just looked at each other, and we, like, kind of all said the same thing. We're like, let's join a band. I think that's going to be our demo co cover. We're not sure yet. We're, gonna, we're still um, going to take a few more shots. As you can see, we got Frankie there. He's going to be featured and Greer with the John Lennon glasses, Cooper with the spoon in his mouth, and then me crossing some sticks. They're not in a band. They don't have any instruments. Cooper doesn't play anything. Rollo thinks he plays something. It's like a cymbal that he lays on his bed. Greer has some electronic keyboard that he plugs into his computer and it doesn't even work. So they're not in a band. James doesn't think that we have the abilities to create music and that's not true. We're in a band and, you know, I don't think the Beatles started off with, you know, this major hit. I think that they built up, but, you know, us as Retro Restart, we're going to try to start out with a bang. When we're opening up for um, Post, Malone, Post Malone or, Mayor, yeah, they're not, they're not getting tickets. We'll actually tell security if they're not allowed to. Right. But as a whole, we don't have many supporters, so that's why most of our following is outside the team, which you think they'd support their teammates, but they don't. They don't support us. Although Rollison's teammates don't support his musical endeavors, it's the friendships the lefty has made in the locker room that allow him to know when he leaves the stage, he made the right decision. You know, it's been amazing. It's been you know life changing for me and. Uh, you know, I wouldn't trade this opportunity for the world. You know, Ole Miss has a special place in my heart. Um, you know, it's the best college town in America, and uh, you know, I'm so fortunate to, you know, come to a, an awesome university as you know, Ole Miss.